What's up everybody? This is Jazz from Jazz Travels, my first video on my new channel. Today we're doing a small road trip to Toronto, Ontario. It's about a three and a half hour drive from where I live and we're gonna go see the Blue Jays today. First time the team is back in 760 days. Kind of an opening weekend. I'm pretty excited. There's gonna be lots of protocols and whatnot. I'll probably do a separate video on that. So now it's time to hit the road. So 30 minutes into the trip, and I am seeing the worst painted lines, traffic lines I've ever seen. This is horrible. All right, about two and a half hours into the journey, I'm in Barrie, Ontario. Gonna hit a couple of stores before the game. And one of those stops is at Toys R Us, because believe it or not, I'm a huge Lego fan. Yeah, they got some cool Star Wars sets and other stuff, but nothing on sale, so it's time to hit the road. Sorry, I lied. I'm going to Mastermind, too. And also a quick pit stop washroom break at Walmart. All right, we have arrived in Toronto. A bit of a traffic jam. It is, of course, the long weekend. And now it's just a matter of parking the car and hopping on the subway. We have arrived at the Yorkdale Mall. One of the biggest in Toronto and uh, might visit a few stores then hop on the subway. Alright I haven't used one of these in so long so we are gonna reload. Please stand clear of the doors. I'm actually surprised that the subway is not busy for a Saturday. It's actually uh, pretty quiet, so lots of room. For arriving at St. Andrew, St. Andrew Station, doors will open on the left. So that was a little eerie, guys. Normally on game day, there's so many fans walking around. Now I realize that the Jays are only hosting 15,000 fans, which is like a third of what they can normally host. But yeah, I mean, first pitch is in like 30 minutes. I only saw one other Jays jersey in the subway. So I got about another kilometer or so to go. And yeah, man, this should be a lot of fun. Man, I need to buy a selfie stick. This is, uh, this is not practical holding my phone this way. So in case you were wondering uh, why I don't park or drive downtown, it would take me 45 minutes to drive down here, 45 minutes back. The subway's only 30 minutes. The subway's only $6. Parking is between $25 and $35. So if I'm by myself, it doesn't really make sense for me to drive down here. So yeah, just in case anyone is curious as to why I'm taking the subway. Oh, it's really nice to be back, guys. You can see that the roof is open today. A little bit busier in this corner. Now it's time for me to find my gate. Game time's in about 25 minutes. So I ended up going a little cheapo here. We got a value popcorn, $3.50, and a value dog for $3.50. So a total of $7. Batting third, catcher number 13, Salvador Perez. Batting fourth, the left fielder number 16, Andrew Penintendi. Thank you. 
Well, there you go, guys. That wasn't too bad. My first game back, the Jays beat the Kansas City Royals. Now it's time for the four-hour trek home, including the subway. So I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I plan on doing lots more travel videos coming up in the near future. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click on that notification bell, and we'll see you soon.